creepy client grabbed my hair. I waited several years for this. The crazy woman cut off my braid and <gasps> ran with her to the restroom. Peeking through the door gap, I saw her putting it on. She instantly became younger and looked exactly like me. Not only that, but my face turned into her old one. Oh my god! This isn't real, I must be dreaming! I couldn't appear in front of my family like that. The witch, on the other hand, was insolent and came by my house. Hello, sweetie. Did you miss your wife? <laughs> Honey, is that really you? The only thing that didn't change was her voice. So, I used it to my advantage. This woman is not who she claims to be. I am your wife. My husband rushed toward me. Yet what he saw frightened him. <gasps> and our daughter. Let's go before this lunatic attacks us. The moment the witch set foot in my house, she started setting new rules. From now on, you won't touch my hair. Otherwise, I'll whip your hands. Don't cry, darling. Mommy is just... tired. She ordered my husband to surprise her in the bedroom every night. <gasps> Fortunately, nothing happened between them. Our daughter is still upset. I'll read her a fairy tale so she calms down while you get some rest. Hmm? I used that opportunity to ask the witch the reason behind her actions. Her answer shocked me. Because you once stole my beauty and happiness. I didn't understand since I had never seen that woman in my life. While the witch was admiring her new appearance, I snatched her purse to at least learn something about her. Sadly, the woman's first and last name didn't tell me anything. Hmm? However, I found her secret. A spell book. I read that my beauty would return once my hair grew back to its original length. I remained patient and secretly watched my family as their happiness seemed to decrease. Stop coddling that girl. Better massage my heels. Mm. I would check the length of my braids every day. Less than half an inch to go. But... For some reason, my hair stopped growing. I couldn't wait any longer to reunite with my family. So I decided to go love them for at least for one night. Something the witch was completely incapable of. Mommy, you finally let me play with your hair again. Can't wait for you to braid it while awake. The following morning, I woke up with my own face. Thanks to my daughter's touch, the hair grew back. And I could now meet my loved ones without it being nighttime. Honey! I'm home. I have something to tell you. Honey? Yet, our house was empty. I thought the witch has preventively hidden my family. 
But as it turned out, hmm. my beloved simply left her. You got a bad husband. Just ran away as soon as he saw the first wrinkle. He's just like your father. How do you know my dad? I grew up in an orphanage. The woman ended up revealing the truth. She was my mother. When I was born, my father left her, claiming that she has turned into a witch and was impossible to live with. It's all your fault. I was beautiful before I got you. You need to realize that you didn't become a witch due to losing your beauty. I'll prove it. Well, surprise me. I called my husband. One minute was enough for us to reconcile. He's on the way here, so hurry up and get ready. I trusted my beloved to know who was who. However, he hesitated and challenged us. You'll handle the child's left side while you the right. Whoever does a better job wins. I refuse to participate in that madness. How could I care for half of our daughter when I loved all of her? <laughs> She's just afraid of competition. Her words are the answer of a real mother, not a fake one. My husband and daughter hmm? finally recognized me. Not only that, but my mother learned that it wasn't her wrinkles that made her a witch, rather her callous heart. Remember, if you want attractive lips, speak words of kindness.